everybody, it is Ariel or Elle, and I'm back for another bump date! Yay! I am officially 18 weeks pregnant, which is just crazy. Like, we are almost halfway through my pregnancy, which is just mind-blowing to me. So I'm going to tell you guys all about week 17. usual I apologize for like the crazy lighting right now it's literally 4 p.m. here in New England and it is dark outside like I, it was cloudy out today anyway so it was never really super bright as far as I could tell because I woke up super early today I usually sleep till at least like five or so because if you don't know me I'm a night shift nurse so I usually sleep till about five but I woke up a little early today so I can make this video for you guys because I love you all and I just noticed it's still so dark, even at four. So just gonna be crazy lighting all through the winter. So I apologize for that, you guys. Okay, so the biggest thing that happened this week is I finally, finally, finally saw a chiropractor. I know it's way overdue. I was meaning to see one for a while now just because my pelvis has felt really out of line and like my lower back's been sore and my midwife really recommended seeing a chiropractor in general just to make sure everything was good and um, that I was getting adjusted and she said she wanted me to get adjusted at least once a trimester which really isn't that difficult to do that's literally once every three months so I was like yeah I should really get on that so I finally found an awesome chiropractor in our area and I went to my first appointment with him and he was amazing. It was so funny. I was like, oh, are you, um, like, do you have training in the Webster technique? And he's like, I've been doing this for so long. I actually learned the Webster technique from Dr. Webster himself. <laughs> so I was like, all right, that's pretty good validation. I feel uh, pretty, pretty safe with this, with this chiropractor doing, you know, adjustments on me while I'm pregnant. So I thought that was awesome. And then um, he was telling me a little bit about himself while he was like getting measurements and doing adjustments and stuff like that. And I guess him and his wife um, had two home births with midwives and everything like that. So he is like very into, you know, trying to do things holistically. So I really appreciate that because we are having a birth center birth. If I haven't like mentioned that yet to you guys, we have a midwife and we are having our baby outside of a hospital. We are having it in a birth center, which is connected to a hospital. So if anything goes wrong, they just like wheel me over to the hospital. Um, but anyway, so I thought that was really cool, really cool connection and really enjoyed like talking with this guy. So that was good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I had a really good first appointment with him and he was able to adjust me. He noticed that because of my so I was diagnosed with really mild scoliosis as a child. It never needed to be corrected. I never had to have surgery or anything like that. I just have basically a twist in my spine. <clears throat> and he said that, which side is it? Now I can't remember which side he's saying was really tight. I think it was my right side. But anyways, I have another chiropractor appointment tonight, so <laughs> I will remember. But I think he said that my right side was extremely tight. One of my sides was really, really tight because like with pregnancy already, even though I'm only 18 weeks, was still pretty far along, <laughs> um, that I guess just even the distribution of weight and everything and like the way my muscles have gone, that one side of my back is like completely tight where the curve is and then the other side is like a little too loose. So I'm literally like kind of lopsided. <laughs> so anyways, which I know sounds goofy, but that is what he said and he gave me an adjustment and I was already like walking around better like I felt so much better my pelvis feels so much better so all of that stuff has been amazing and I just feel like so great already so I'm just seeing him once a week for three weeks and then after that I'll probably see him once a month until the end of my pregnancy <laughs> so uh so that's what's going on at that let's see what else did I want to talk about Oh yeah, so I've officially hit the crazy dream stage of pregnancy, so kind of embarrassing, but yeah. Um, I feel like I have been having a lot of dirty dreams lately, and I feel like that's all I've been having lately, and they're not even, um, they're not even that, like, okay, I will say they are sexual in nature, but they're not even that sexy, like, literally looking back on some of them, thinking about them, I'm like, what? Why is that even a thing? Like, like, I don't know. I just think it's hilarious the dreams that you have while you're pregnant. And I have definitely been having crazy dreams lately. And it's actually quite refreshing because I used to have a lot of like nightmares and stuff like that. And 
just like stressful dreams and now I'm just having really goofy dreams and really like sexual dreams which is funny to me um but I haven't had like a huge increase in like my libido or anything like that it's just that it's like apparently when I'm dreaming I that's all my brain thinks about now <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with that um I was joking with my husband because this whole pregnancy I have thought that it's a boy and I was like well it must be a boy because otherwise like who would be thinking these dirty thoughts in my brain other than, other than a boy baby but that was kind of like an inside joke I don't actually think that it's a boy because I'm having dirty dreams but anyways I thought that that was kind of funny so that's what's been happening um, I have hit a wall of exhaustion right now I actually saw someone else's YouTube, I forget who it was, but I've been watching other people's bump dates for like people that are around the same time or just like going back and looking at other people's bump dates that when, when they were around this time. And there was one YouTuber that was saying that when they hit week 17, they hit this wall of exhaustion, but then it went away in a couple weeks and they felt a lot better and they had all their energy back. So I'm really hoping that that happens for me, but we shall see. <laughs> so I'm just really hopeful that that is what happens and uh, I've definitely been very tired I've been sleeping a whole lot more I used to be the type of person and I know people are gonna roll their eyes because like we're gonna have a newborn and I'm gonna be sleep deprived and I know that um, but I used to be the type of person that really I'm just, like I really need like seven or eight hours of sleep to be like a really <laughs> normal human being I know there's other people out there that can get like almost no sleep and act completely normal but for me it really just kind of like wipes my day out to not get enough sleep at least like for multiple days in a row. Like my husband's the type of person that can literally sleep five hours a night and not have a problem. Whereas if that were me, I would be a mess. <laughs> I would be such a mess. And I understand early parenthood, I'm gonna be sleep deprived, but I don't really need to be, like I mean, I don't have to be like a real human for a while anyways after you have a baby. People kind of expect you to be a little bit like out of it and exhausted and whatever. But anyway, so lately, I have been sleeping 10 hours and then even when I wake up I'm still tired and I'm starting to think so I know part of it can be hormonal and it can be pregnancy but I know part of it too is just like the lack of light in my day because I don't ever see the sunlight so um, this happens every year to me um, so I started using my blue light again or not blue light it's called a happy light and it's this little compact light and you're supposed to look at it for half an hour a day when you first wake up and I just did that, which is why I'm so cheery and happy, because it does make you happy. It like, you know, signals the, like, you know, the cones or retinas or whatever, I forget which one it is, <laughs> in your eyeball, <clears throat> that say, hey, it's morning time, it's time to wake up. <clears throat> and so I've been doing that, and I'm hoping that kind of resets my sleep cycle a little bit, and that I, you know, aren't, I'm not just sleeping forever and ever and ever every day, because I feel like I can't get anything done. And that's been really frustrating for me too, because I'm such a go-getter that, you know, as you can see guys, I'm sitting in our future nursery, we changed our bed, um, the bed in here is now a day bed instead of like a big full sized one, I'll give you a tour when I do a nursery tour eventually, but, um, so I've been such a go-getter and it's just been really hard being so exhausted and I'm working so much, <laughs> like over 40 hours a week, which is also tough. So anyways, I'm kind of hoping everything evens itself out and everything will be good to go. And I'm just so excited about the holidays coming up, guys. I love Thanksgiving. If you're not, you know, in America or know about it, we celebrate Thanksgiving very, very soon. And I even have a Thanksgiving shirt that I'll show you guys in my next video. Um, <laughs> but anyways, that's it for now, guys. There's not a whole lot else going on, just the chiropractor and the exhaustion and whatever and getting ready for the holiday season and that's it for now i will insert a picture of my bump and that's it for now guys and if you like subscribe bye